back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in with me today. I'm just going to be doing a quick flip through of my planner setup for my mini happy planner. Um, I showed you all what it looked like before in a video that I did at the beginning of the year, which is my planner lineup video. And I have that linked above if you want to check that out after you've watched this video. But if you want to see what changes I made to it to make it work for me a bit better, just stay tuned. So first of all, first and foremost, let's just take a look at this here. Y'all see how my page won't even close? It won't even close, y'all. Look at how big this is. This is just like a super thick and chunky planner. It has everything I need in it. I'm super excited. I love it. I wouldn't trade it for the world right now, y'all. So the first thing that I have is a sticky note page in here. That hasn't changed from my initial setup. Neither has this. It's holding up rather well, to say the least. I still haven't changed out the tabs, the dashboards, which I do still plan to do in the near future when I decide I want to order some because nobody has them in stock anywhere. Didn't change any of the dividers out. I did add a couple more. And so this is my faith and journaling section. And in this section, I am doing mainly just my scripture journaling. Um, my monthly page is supposed to be set up with a um, my monthly spiritual goals. I haven't done anything in this yet, but I do plan to complete this to go ahead and get that in there. Just haven't done it yet. Then we have the um, vertical, not vertical. This is not vertical. This is the horizontal layout. It's the um, the mini happy planner that has the glasses on it. I don't know exactly what that one's called, but it's just the horizontal layout for that one. Um, and then I created out of some cardstock these little dividers that are half sheet dividers. And this one does say Bible study there. And I, of course, I laminated them. I used cardstock. I used a tab that was in the brights. Uh, sticker book and some stickers that were in a faith uh, sticker book. I think it was from the um, paper studio sticker book. And then I put, um, I think these came out of the faith journaling, um, the faith or the faith warrior sticker book. And it just says, God is with her. Um, God is with her. She will not fail. And the diamonds on the side of it. And that's it for that section. I do have some blank pages back in the back and I did do some journaling in the back well I've been doing mainly scripture writing in that section and that's it for it the next section that I have in here is my jotted down section so in the jotted down section I basically am um, doing practically brain dumps in the form of lists my brain dumps definitely usually come that way and I felt like the planner um, that I chose to do that in was just perfect for it. So I used it. And I called it again the jot it down section. In the beginning of it, I do have my New Year's resolution. Um, fully flip out, I guess you would call it, I don't know. Um, flip out sheet. And so this is what that looked like. And the back side of it. So I just have that there. Um, and if you have not seen it already, I will also go ahead and link above the um, video that I did creating this, which is my New Year's resolutions. And, and next in the jot it down section, I just have another dashboard. Then I did decorate the uh, page that says um, who this planner belongs to. We never put anything on it. I just, I like llamas and so I just decorated it that way. Then this is where I chose to put my year at a glance at, and I chose to use this layout for it, which this is the No Drama Llama layout that has the monthly and the daily, um, I guess, listing. I don't know what it's called. So for the monthly in these, what I'm actually doing is uh, overall goals for my life in all areas, whether it be spiritual, personal, financial, business, social media, whatever the case may be, uh, family, all of that is going to be like an overview of what goals I have to that I'm looking to accomplish is going to be for the month is going to be on my monthly, um, my calendar layout section for this part that's in my jotted down. So I'll have that there. And then I didn't do anything on these. 
I don't know what that I ever will. I probably will just actually end up gluing it together. Okay, and so here is my listing that I'm doing, y'all. And I've gotten some stuff checked off. We're working on it. We're getting there. And then I also I created another one of these little half um, dividers. Little with this one says take note. If you can see that. And um, I messed this one up, so I had to put some washi on it. And I put a sticker on the back of it. And so that's how the jot it down section in my planner is going to look month by month until I find something better to do. But I loved how that's set up, so I don't know that I will. And then this is the home and personal section. I love lemons, y'all. And so not to eat, but I just love how they look. They're so pretty. And so, and leaves. So I have this as my home and personal. And it's quite fitting if you ask me for it. And so... On the home and personal, what I have done is something similar where with the calendar layout, I made it into a, a mood tracker and a period tracker for myself. And so I have it labeled up here, I'm feeling, and then the mood tracker, and then the different moods that I may be feeling. And then I have below that my period tracker, and my period tracker is all going to go in here. And he, this is the color code that I've chosen to use for it. And for my mood tracker, it's going to be color-coded throughout the calendar. And if I have something significant that has happened, mood-related, that I can write down, need to write down, then I'll write it down here. Um, I'm doing this for health reasons to kind of see where I am um, and, you know, to be able to kind of share with my doctor regarding how I feel sometimes. And so, uh, see if there's trends and things to that nature. So... I have that here and I love how it actually turned out looking. I think it's pretty. And I put these daily reminders here in the corner. I um, mean, it just says I'm amazing. I'm capable. Positivity is a choice. I celebrate in my individuality. I am prepared to succeed. And um, everything except for these two boxes right here um, actually came from out of the wellness sticker book. And these two boxes came out of the super mom sticker book. Then, okay, so this is a layout from my weekly layouts. Just follow that, basically. And at the very back, and um, this is another divider that I created. Super cute. And so here at the back of my personal home life section, I do have my daughter's diabetic um, records. Um, it is my diabetic care management for my daughter. And I have this little divider here, so I can just flip straight to it. And um, be, I always tell my daughter that, um, with the power that God has given us and the faith and trust and belief that we have in him, that he's made us ruler over um, the things of this world that are here to hurt us and that she rules her diabetes. The diabetes does not rule her. And so I put all of these uh, great um, things on the back of it, of the little half sheet, just as a reminder, you know, she doesn't see this, but I see it. And so it's just re, I think reaffirming what we believe. And it says, God is with her. She will not fail. Perhaps you were born for such a day as this bloom. You are love, true life, shine bright. He counts the stars and calls them by name. Um, great is thy faithfulness and be still. So I thought that was really cool to have put there. So I started doing her um, records with the daily sheets. I didn't like it. And so I switched over to instead using the, um, what is this y'all? The Miss Maker layout. I love it because everything's kind of already separated for me. I have a line and I have not put in anything or haven't put anything here yet. Um, I'll put significant changes that she's had in comments in that area whenever they occur. So it has enough places for me to put her carb intake, her insulin uh, amounts that she is taking, her blood sugar readings, and what meal of the day it was um, going across like that in every section for the day. So I love that. And um, that's what I'm using this section for. And then I move on to my social media section of my planner. And here's another divider that I'm use that I created for that. This um was I don't know what this is called. I think it's vellum. I think this is vellum. And I got it from uh, Joanne. And I just put social media using the number and letters sticker book from Happy Planner there. And so on the monthly for this, I'm again doing something different. Cut not a monthly on the um, calendar. Because I don't use the calendars, not for what they're supposed to be used for. So um, I got the idea from another YouTuber and I just thought I just kind of took it and ran with it because I just felt like it was so 
<laughs> it was such a good way to use it. And so here are my schedule. Like I have listed here my different schedule uh, videos that I plan on doing like series on um, and like my goals for the month that I have here and then like some just little inspirational stuff and then I'll have my stats listed week by week so week one through five and so that's what's going to be there and then I do film edit posts y'all for mine and so the three boxes and the vertical layout works perfectly for that film edit post and um, if I need like extra note space, I'll just kind of use the side for that. And also, um, also I have some paper in the back um, that's just blank sheets of paper to be able to write additional pieces that I need now. And then I have my budget and expense section, and I'm just going to flip past that. I may do a video on that in the future. And... This is just my one day section. And when I say one day, I mean one day these pages will get used. It's kind of like just my extra paper section. I just thought that was a cute way to put it. Being that there's nothing that says like blank pages, extra notes, notes. Notes was one, but I don't, I'm not writing back there typically. This shouldn't even be back there. I usually move the paper that I'm using to another section. Um, so yeah. And um, this is, I can never remember what this kind of paper is called. But anyway, I just laminated it and put it in front of the divider so that you can actually see it. And then, like I said, I just have some blank grid paper in the back. And I have these sheets in the back. And then I also have another pocket folder in the back. And that's it. Voila. Tis my chunky baby. My perfect planner, the planner that I love so much. I hope it gave you some inspiration on today, that you enjoyed this video. Y'all, I got through it. I remembered to put lotion on my hands before it started, so my hands are not ashy. Uh, but yeah, I'll be back for another video here very shortly. The next video I post, hopefully y'all get to see my face on it. Um, I haven't been really posting any face videos where you could actually see me uh, recently but I, I I will be and I have a video coming up that's already like scheduled and ready to go on for Saturday for that um, but for now this was the video that I have for this today I certainly hope you enjoyed watching it if you did hit that like button if you're not subscribed to my channel I hope you uh, decide that you want to become a part of my family we would love to have you here thanks again so much for watching today guys and until next time bye